New rule. I don't know if there is a hell, but if there is, on the trip to get there, the in-flight movie must be Kirk Cameron saving Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but if there isn't a hell, as I suspect, I'd like to take a crack at saving Christmas myself. <laughs> because I think it does need saving. You know why? Because when the subject of Christmas comes up now, I notice so many people roll their eyes and say some variation of, uh, I hate Christmas. Well, I'm not ready to throw Christmas under the bus. I say, let's save Christmas. What do you say? Yeah! <laughs> All right, now, I'm sure many of you are thinking that I'm an odd choice to be the one saving Christmas, but you know what? I have never hidden my affection for the holiday. Again. We can't be kids until the lanes are closed. We can't be kids until the lights are closed. No! <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> I hate Christmas. Merry Christmas, Phoebe's Playhouse! Christmas. Truly the most wonderful time of the year. Who been good and who been bad? Now, with each passing decade, Christmas becomes a time capsule. I got my doll! I got my doll! Full of memories. These were sites unthinkable only a few hours ago. Across America, America still Christmas displays today. are bigger than ever. These magicians of light spend hundreds of hours building, and they can't be stopped. Not by weather. They are armed with millions of bulbs. At this house, we have one million lights. Fireworks. Horses. Camera! With even more outrageous Christmas displays. How many total lights? If you can count how many you have, you don't have enough. Battling it out for $50,000. Christmas! It's a national Christmas light competition like never before. Christmas. God rest you, merry gentlemen. Let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. From God our Heavenly Father, a blessed angel came, and unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same, how that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. I kind of like the story about the virgin who has a little god baby in the barn. <laughs> it's like an early episode of Maury Povich. <laughs> in the case of baby Jesus, Joseph, you are not the father. <laughs> you shouldn't be looking at the open oven and thinking, hmm, should I take the sugar cookies out or stick my head in? <laughs> So what can we do 
to rehabilitate Christmas, to get its poll numbers back up. Well, here's my three-point plan. First, we got to shorten the season. You know, years ago, I suggested that since Christmas really now starts in October, <laughs> let's combine all of the end-of-the-year holidays into one big one called Thanks Halloween. <laughs> It's Halloweenus, a day when the whole family gets together in costumes <laughs> and gives thanks for a big meal of turkey and candy, and then gathers around a tree covered in toilet paper to ex <laughs> to exchange presents and tell ghost carols. <laughs> Second, we must recognize that although stress from seeing family has always been there, it's gotten worse because thanks to the internet and Fox News. Half your family is now full-on insane and impossible to talk to. <laughs> Not my house. <laughs> we, we, got, we all do it. Therefore, we need to start a tradition that all conversation around the table be restricted to the weather, the big game, whether Gene Hackman is still alive, <laughs> <laughs> what the dog looks like he's thinking, and when are you going to have that thing looked at? <laughs> and subjects that should be off limits are politics, child rearing advice, weight gain, good things Hitler did, <laughs> and whether the carpet matches the drapes. Oh, oh, and FYI, the kids and their cousins didn't go for a walk. They're in the garage getting hot. <laughs> And, and finally, if we really want to get rid of the Christmas dress, we got to get rid of the gift giving. Yes. Spending money you don't have to give people you don't like stuff they don't want. That's what I think. What to get? How much to spend? If I buy something for this one, do I have to buy something for that one? Shopping in return.